Hi everyone, this is Apostolic Watchman Antoine, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I come to give you all an urgent prophetic warning with a prophetic vision from the Lord titled, Do Not Let the Enemy Come Into Your House. When I woke up this morning, the Lord gave me a vision and he showed me a woman who hears the door knocking and her bell ringing. She went to the door and asked, who is it? The person was standing in front of her door and refused to give out his name. So he said to her, ma'am, I need to use the washroom and I need to use your phone immediately. The woman was confused about him saying that. So she asked him again, who is it? But the man at the door still refused to give his full name to her and told her that he needs to go to the washroom and to use her phone for emergency. So the woman had no choice but to open the door and to let the man come into her house to use the washroom and to use her phone. After the woman let the man into her house, the man immediately pulled out a gun to rob her, to steal her money, her jewelry, and all her house expensive products. The man has lied to her saying about using the washroom and using her phone to call for emergency. After the man stole her house products and her money, she immediately screamed and the man immediately ran out of her house and out of her property before the police showed up. At the end, she made her report about the man stolen her money and her products and weeks later, the man was arrested, taken to, to jail and sent to pol and sent to prison forever. And then my vision ended. The Lord gave me this vision with a warning that you are not to let any stranger or the devil or the enemy come into your house. Because a stranger is being used by the devil to rob, to steal, to kill, and to destroy people. The devil hates you so bad that he decides to rob your joy, your love, and your peace. The devil loves to steal your house products and is trying to make you feel bad, scared, fear, worry, and unprotected, full of anxieties with his spiritual weapons. We saw news on TV and on social media showing that people didn't know what to do when strangers who they are not familiar with knocking at the door or buzzing the bell without giving his and her full name. When people were confused and they let the strangers in, the strangers immediately pulled out a gun to rob him and her, and her or even shot and killed him or her for no reason. John chapter 10 verse 10 says, the thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. I come that they may have life and have it to the full. Then 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 to 9 says, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. Then Mark chapter 3 verse 27 says, let me illustrate this further. Who is powerful enough to enter the house of a strong man and plunder his goods? Only someone even stronger, someone who could tie him up and then plunder his house. And then Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 to 13 says, Put on the full armor of God that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. And lastly, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 to 16 says, the person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, 
but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. The person with the Spirit makes judgment about all things, but such a person is not subject to merely human judgments. For we has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. So therefore, you must remember that you are not to let any strangers or any enemies, like the devil or Satan, come into your house to lie to you, to rob, to rob you, to kill, steal, and destroy you. If they buzz the bell or knock at the door and you ask them who is it, and they do not respond to you nor giving you his or her full name but a statement only, do not let the person or the devil into your house. Stay away from that person and let the person go immediately. You are to have a discernment from the Holy Spirit about that person or stranger to see if it's of God or the devil, Satan. Without discernment and the gifts of the Holy Spirit, then you leave your doors open for the devil to bring confusion, deception, fear, worry, and anxieties, not knowing what to do in this situation. Now, if the if a stranger breaks into your house or your windows, then you are to call 911 immediately so that the police will come and will handle that person, that stranger, or that suspect for attempting to rob you and to break into your house or your windows. And most importantly, pray for that person or persons for salvation and baptism of the Holy Spirit, water baptism, healing, deliverance unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Decree Psalms 91, Psalms 34 and 7, Psalms 37, Romans 12, 14 to 21, and other scripture verses for God's protection with the blood of Jesus over you and your families and friends. Let God fight the battles and fight the enemy for you and not yourself nor your flesh and blood against them. And you can look at it on Romans 12, 14 to 21, Ephesians 6, 11 to 13, and Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. And God will release his angels to protect you with the blood of Jesus and to keep you safe with him. Amen. So God bless you all. Jesus love you all. Peace and shalom.